नमस्ते एवरीवन दिस इज प्रज्ञा एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल अवेकन विद प्रज्ञा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट एंड मोस्ट कंफ्यूज्ड स्टेजेस ऑफ ट्विन फ्लेम जर्नी एंड दैट इज ट्विन फ्लेम यूनियन एंड देयर हैव बीन सो मेनी पीपल हु हैव बीन आस्किंग मी टू डू अ वीडियो ऑन अ ट्विन फ्लेम यूनियन सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू सेट some sort of a basic understanding whatever i am going to talk today when it comes to twin flame union it may happen that it might not resonate with lot of people we all are on a certain spiritual journey and everybody is at a different juncture in their journey so what you are resonating with will depend upon at what juncture you are standing in your own personal journey and your own personal understanding so if at all you are not resonating with what i am saying just let it be you don't have to agree with everything what i say whatever i'm going to say is my own understanding which i developed or what i realized while coming along in my own journey before i begin all those who have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever i upload a new video i upload videos on every thursday and i'm also going to soon start q and a videos anybody who has any particular questions please send me a message to my email which i have mentioned in the about section in my channel and i would definitely try and answer those questions in my video when i was not even aware of, of what the twin flame journey was all about and i was not awakened i have been constantly having this gut feeling since i met my twin flame that we will be together in some way some day i didn't know when how where these questions were there in my mind but i didn't have answers to that but there always has been a very strong feeling in my gut that we were supposed to be together or we were meant to be together and when i came to know the label twin flames and i understood about this stage called union it was kind of a validation for my gut feeling that okay so whatever i have been feeling so far sounds to be true somewhere i could connect the dots between the twin flame union stage and what i have been feeling all through my journey so somewhere i feel that reading about a twin flame journey and a stage twin flame union gave me a lot of hope and i could connect the dots that was a boon but there was also a challenge as i expected this union to be a very typical 3d template of romantic union i started resisting it because i was already married my twin flame was already married i didn't want to disturb my family life i had a very loving family there was no reason for me to break out of my family to be with my twin flame though my heart really wanted to be with my twin flame there was a lot of guilt feeling there was a lot of resistance and uh, because of that there was so much of confusion in my journey that okay so there is a union which is supposed to be happening between both of us but my scenario and my twin flames scenario is exactly opposite than that we don't seem to be getting into union in any way in this life how is it supposed to work and what is this union all about and why i have been feeling so intensely that we are meant to be together all these thoughts were a challenge so there was a boon and there was a challenge at the same time and that is where i started thinking about what exactly this union really meant was it really something which we normally expect as a romantic typical ideal relationship as being married and staying under one roof or there was something else and more to it and as i started progressing in my ascension i started getting a completely different understanding of what union really was the way we progress as human beings in life our uh, outlook on what human life is also changes from our childhood right like we have a certain 
perception about what life is all about when we are a kid and as we progress and become an adult we definitely certainly change our perceptions about what life is and the same thing happens when it comes to twin flame union as you progress in your ascension journey your perception of what union really is also changes big time so initially my perception was it was a typical romantic union goody goody couple staying under one roof loving each other every day and as i progress um i started realizing that it was not about this typical earthly give and take that connection had a different purpose altogether it it definitely had a spiritual mission involved in it as a twin flame i was here for a certain reason i started realizing that and slowly i started releasing that earthly expectation to be tangled with my twin flame in a 3d way in a earthly way and because of that soon i also could come out of this urge or this need to get married with my twin flame there are people who feel that they come what may they have to get married with their twin flame if you really look at marriage as a constitution i am not challenging that constitution as human beings we are here living 3d lives and we uh, have to respect uh, our 3d society templates i am definitely not denying that but at the same time when you start realizing that oh there is another form of relationship which you are experiencing which is not really earthly it's not 3d it's having a certain different texture it has got a different level and you are sensing that level you are feeling that level it is completely real it is completely authentic experience which you can feel even though you can't really explain it to others and because of that feeling you can't deny that there is this certain relationship which is way way intense that any other relationships you had ever in your life where the struggle happens is that you have that particular relationship which you can sense very intensely and somehow you want to give it a conclusion or you want to give it a form uh, to that relationship in a very earthly way so the connection is beyond your 3d life but you want to fit that connection in your 3d template and you want to get married to them and you want to be romantically involved with them of course there is a romantic feeling and you do love them intensely but you are molding your feelings into whatever you know as a relationship template but most of the times most of the twin flames are not in that sort of a scenario many of them are married both twin flames are married to different partners they have kids they have other complex scenario having their twin flame in a very odd relation like brother in law or cousin or something like that which is like really odd even to accept it themselves or there are so many twin flames who are having a lot of age gap and a male being a younger person and the female being really really old like more than 20 years of age gap there are twin flames who are same gender twin flames so obviously uh, there are so many complex scenarios that you can't really have a standard typical society outcome of a typical ideal romantic relationship It, when you are in this initial stage you are trying hard to fit your connection or your feeling into that particular romantic template that yeah this is what i want but that is what you are anticipating and when you read about the stage twin flame union you naturally start anticipating that this union is going to be or should be like this that one day we just come out of every damn commitment we have in our life and we would be standing in front of each other looking into each other's eyes and there would be no obstacle at all ever and we would hold each other's hands and after that we would be in union 
we would stay together and whatever blah blah so as i progressed further in my ascension in my journey and i had accepted that oh, okay my twin flame may not be my life partner but he is having some sort of a connection with me and that is eternal and uh, we would be together with each other in some way how i did not know how and i as i progressed i started getting this understanding that the union does not happen only on the physical level there are different levels so it's not just physical union there is also a spiritual union there is a mental union there is a emotional union etheric union as you start ascending you start being united with your twin flame at one or the other level and some people might be in union spiritually or some people are spiritually and emotionally in union but not yet mentally or etherically or uh, physically it depends so there are people there are twin flames who are right now in union in some or the other aspect of their union it is very narrow minded to look at physical union as the only outcome of your connection if you really look at the internet and the articles or youtube channels on the internet a certain community or groups of people who have been quite rebellious in claiming that you have to break your marriages to be in union and you have to be brave you have to be fearless come out of your karmic relationships and Uh, to be with union i personally don't agree with it in the way this whole uh, talk goes on it is very disrespectful to your karmic connections and it doesn't have to be disrespectful to your karmic connections secondly as we understand that union is a process it's not an event that suddenly you decided today that okay let's be in union most of the people who are thinking like this are still living in this pattern of having a 3d romantic relationship with their twin flame and they feel that it is so necessary that they can't get away with it and okay that also is a part of the process the twin flame community there are a lot of people who are focusing on physical twin flame union and claim that okay i help people to be in physical union that whole focus is around that physical relationship or romantic template and it is very very result oriented that's a very 3d template you know the whole proposition itself is a very earthly the focus is not on your spiritual growth the focus is not on your internal process it's only and only on your physical romantic union with your twin flame and then i also observed another category of people who claim that they are in the physical union with their twin flame and they kind of carry some sort of a pride some sort of a egoistic attitude subtly in their writings or in their presentations that they are in union so there is some sort of a superiority kind of a feeling that they have achieved something great which others have not yet achieved so i definitely want to highly discourage this kind of uh, attitude because it's not about who reaches their first it's not a race first of all secondly union is a by product of your internal process it's not a actual goal though it would start as a actual goal from uh, in your initial stage you would not know what is the process and what exactly you are here for uh, so initially it would start with union as your goal but as you progress you will start realizing that there is something more than what you thought initially so there are people who are trying to kind of market being in union in very different ways it is completely on the wrong track that is what i personally feel it, it's such a divine connection that there is no rule book there is no give and take there is no deal between each other there is no uh, no particular template in which you have to fit in and i feel that being in union and being married to your twin flame are completely different things uh, marriage you can't even compare with a twin flame union what we are for each other cannot be compared with anything else realizing you are a twin flame and you are in some sort of a union with each other like energetic or spiritual union already and you are expecting to get married to each other is like uh, a phd student getting into a kindergarten class it's i feel it's that way 
so whatever i have been saying so far of course i don't want to say that twin flames cannot be together as a married couple or stay in relationship with each other it is absolutely possible the point i want to make here is that twin flame union is not just about staying together as a couple under one roof that cannot be a goal if it happens it happens but if it doesn't happen that doesn't mean that you are not in a physical union with your twin flame uh, what i feel is physical union is that both the twin flames are in harmony in the physical plane most of the time in earlier stages you are either not in the talking phase you are in no contact phase you are running chasing you are being angry with each other you are having a lot of expectations from each other and because of all this thing is happening you are not in balance with each other but when you start coming in union on various levels that you are coming in union mentally you are coming in union uh, emotionally etherically now what exactly all these terms are meaning i would be explaining it in my next video so as you are coming in union little by little in various different aspects different levels in your life eventually you are also becoming in each other's harmony in the physical so you are not running or chasing there is no expectation from each other as such and you both are completely in love with each other and completely at peace the way you are that also is one of the phases of physical union i would say the twin flames will carry a twin flame mission more consciously with a great awareness in their 3d life both the twin flames will be aware of the connection they will acknowledge and accept the connection and there after they activate their mission they could also work together on that mission in the physical plane and that harmony that physical harmony can be called a physical union it not it may not be necessarily a romantic sexual union of a twin flame um many people are still stuck with this idea of no twin flame have to be in sexual union and they have to be in physical union the way they feel they should be i am a clear cognizant person whatever i am getting in this particular uh, subject is that there could be something even more surprising now the level where i am i am getting only this much i don't know whenever i'm progressing what sort of more developed understanding i would be getting but for now i am getting this understanding that this is a new relationship template there are lot of things which would happen physically in terms of twin flames being in union in the physicality but it is more about being in the physical harmony than forming a sexual romantic relationship that is what it is the time is to start looking at different relationships in a completely different way there is so much happening on parallel levels apart from your 3d life and everything on every level is a reality you can't deny that reality which you would also agree with me so this is for this video i just wanted to set this background which i feel that was very very important to talk about so see you in the next video and i hope that whatever i spoke today would throw some light on your thought process so see you in the next week take good care of yourself be in the great positive mindset and always be happy